Good, good morning, everybody. Happy stealth camping. What? I gotta wake up and do a video. Really? Okay, let's do a video. Oh, do I have to get out of bed this morning? But it's a beautiful day at the beach. It really is. All right, since nobody's around, I'm just gonna jump up into my driver's seat where my shoes are. One, and done. Easy breezy, isn't it? Oh my gosh, I had a great night's sleep last night. I was in uh, Seal Beach, and uh, I have some business to take care of today. Then I head back to San Diego. Ah, I have my Panera coffee left over from yesterday. I am in front of McDonald's. I'll check out the prices, but if it's like three, four dollars for a cup of McDonald's coffee, forget it. And I know there's some shine on my face. Oh morning there we go that's better all right I always keep my shoes up front and what else do I keep with my shoes my little shoehorn uh, I am not the type of person that loves to uh, tie my shoes so here they are all knotted up I'll center the what is that called the tongue out I'll center the tongue out get my shoes on in the morning oh my gosh so what do I have to do today one shoe on this makes it so much easier this is a great little secret I know right now they're showing they're selling shoes for like $200 that snaps open and then you put your foot on and then it snaps shut but uh save yourself 200 bucks this works like a charm it really does oh my gosh little handy tip and I always keep it in the same space up front oh and while we're at it why don't we talk about it um People say they get their van dirty all the time from bringing their shoes in and out. Is that true? Of course it is. But what I do is I know I have my access through my side door. I always come in and out of this door so I only have this area to clean. Uh, and that's why I keep my shoe horn up front. Uh, put my shoes on and off and when I go in the back I don't have any shoes on. So uh, yeah, it keeps it pretty clean. I'm going to have some coffee guys. I'll be back with you in a few minutes. All right, so what's on the agenda today? Today I'm going to take you through uh, Seal Beach, show you where I stealth camp last night, and uh, maybe show you a little bit about uh, Belmont Shore, where I'm at. A uh, beautiful drive uh, to Long Beach today. I got that one planned for you, so uh, sit back. We're going to have a lot of fun today, all right? Oh my gosh, you want to look around and see how I slept last night? Of course you do. All right, so this is just my basic setup. Uh, I put blankets under here to lift my head because I still have a little bit of the cold left. Uh, I just come through back there, Velcro everything, and we'll be turning around and turning and turning. So I just sit right there. There's my sleeping bag right on the floor. There's my carpeting. Ooh, cough drop in case I need it. Uh, listen to my tablet with headphones. Oh my gosh, these are, let me show you these. These are wonderful. These are potato chips with Worcester sauce. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. I might finish that for breakfast. Headlamp that I need. Headphones that are paired to it. There is my, uh, uh, they're not braces. What do you call them? Retainers. There is ducky right there. Chapstick. Uh, dental pick in case I need it. And the chamber pot. Toilet paper trash can right there all right that's uh, all i need to go to bed at night like i said if i need a uh <laughs> cough drop there they are right there you never want to start uh coughing while you're stealth camping so what i'm gonna do right now go into mcdonald's dump the uh, chamber pot and uh, get ready to go take on the day so let's see i have my headphones i have my uh headlamp and that's my tablet for watching TV at night. So first thing I do in the morning, this is my little Goal Zero 200. Let's see if I can find the button. There we go. And everybody is getting a drink this morning. Yay, so I'll be ready for tomorrow night. Good morning, Ducky. Hey, Mama. All right, before I begin today's video, uh, that van that people are in there camping, they were uh, camped next to me on the street. So let's go see where I stealth camped at in, uh, where am I, Seal Beach different beach town every day all right we are in seal beach and we stealth camp last night but i came over to mcdonald's to uh dump my stuff but uh i didn't want to i did not want to so uh first thing we're gonna do is start the car <gasps> i thought it was started i did all right brake release let's go into reverse i'm gonna uh 
pay attention to the car behind me. I love my backup cameras and everything. Oh, this one wants to be aggressive going through a parking lot. It's okay. Where are we going? We're going to go find some stealth camping. Yes, we are. Oh my God, what the hell? I love the way this uh, is. All right, so we're leaving the McDonald's parking lot. Yes, we are. Everybody's in a rush to get to McDonald's drive through And it's like, please, guys, think about what you're doing first. All right, there's a nice little hotel around here. There's Sugar Bella. This is a nice little neighborhood. See, there's lots of street parking right there. All right, we're going to go once around this hotel. This is the Pacific Inn. Usually I can find some nice stealth camping out here. I really can. But uh, I'll take you around the neighborhood. Seal Beach has a lovely, lovely walking beach. Oh, there's a nice uh, Victorian. Was there a Victorian home? I can't tell. Too many cameras in this van. It really is. All right, so I'll show you where I camped last night. Do not enter. Well, we're not going to enter there. See, there's one of those campers right there. Not a problem, since this is a combination of uh, basically, uh, what do they call them? Airbnbs and everything. Gotta pay attention to those street signs. No parking on first and third Monday. I think it said lots of stealth camping right there. There's a nice little fence. The voting center is actually, what is the voting center? It's the library, yes it is, it's the library. This is so sweet. This is a little choo-choo train. Sometimes it's open. What's it called, the little red train? something like that but see all these streets they're all you can stealth camp at any of them like I said you just got to be mindful of the signs I believe second street yep second street takes you down is this second street no this is main street I think it's main street let's uh let's go down main street I think we passed my favorite little Greek restaurant okay see you're so close to all these cute little shops and everything this is why you want to come stealth camping out here it really is there's the post office. Do I have any postcards to mail? No, I don't. That truck's a little too far out. All right, we'll stop here. This is a wonderful little beach. It really is. So uh, let's explore uh, Seal Beach. This is right off of Main Street. Back there is my Greek restaurant. And we may do that for lunch. We may do that for lunch. No U-turn. Okay, oh, I won't turn. Believe it or not, during the day, this place is going to be packed. It's going to be busy. Everybody wants to come here and then they have the wonderful pier that you can walk out onto now I believe this pier they get a little upset because I bring my dog with me They're like you can't have a dog on the beach and it's like yes I can my dog is a service dog She has all of our paperwork from the VA hospital and uh, this guy Yeah, go ahead Brian. There you go. There you go. There's the pier right there beautiful pier Look at all this camping to our, our park in 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. So if you're a late riser, uh, don't be. All right, gonna turn you off for a second. All right, so we made a quick little U-turn up and down all these streets, stealth camping everywhere, but I thought I'd take you down the main street. Uh, there's the pier once again. All right, uh, there is right on bread in California. Nobody's walking, nobody's running. I always make sure there's all these healthy people. No reparking. So if you're parked right here, they're gonna catch you if you park two blocks down uh, the way. They want you in and out, get your shopping done, two hour parking. Not for me, because I have handicap plates. That's the way it is out here. It is, but so many cute little shell shops and everything. Oh my gosh, this is so awesome. I love this place, I really do. And see this guy in this big van? He probably stealth camped overnight and he's out here already down. Oh, he's at the coffee shop. Yes, he is. All right, so she's gonna cross the street. Go ahead, honey, go ahead. Get across the street. But uh, yeah, it's about three or four blocks long. But like I said, all these side streets, they have uh, their apartments, their uh, people actually have homes here. But uh, I never have any problems stealth camping here. And like I said, these shops are so much fun to visit. They really are. There's a tea garden right there. Uh-huh. All right, then as we come up, where are we at? We're at Electric Street and Main Street. So I'll show you. So many good shops, even a Macintosh store, or there used to be. Uh, Bistro Kitchen, Athens West, that's the place. Oh my gosh, I hope I get there in time today for lunch. I am looking forward to that. By the way, as I take you for this drive through Main Street, uh, oh, there's the old theater. They didn't reopen it once uh, the coof hit. 
Uh, what was I going to say? I have no idea. But I hope you're enjoying the drive. It is so beautiful here. And uh, I got to get home. Oh, there's Avon's. Yeah, I could have used their restroom, but that's okay. Ah, traffic, traffic, traffic. Oh, an old VW Eurovan, I think that is. Traffic doesn't bother me. It never does. But uh, I think I got to get home to San Diego going down PCH, which I'm not too happy about. May take a few days. All these charming little beach towns, I'm sure. I'm sure I am. Look at this. This is wonderful. All right, so I showed you where to uh, stealth camp, right where all the action is. And what we're going to do is go from uh, Seal Beach to Belmont Shore. Belmont Shore is in uh, Long Beach. Uh, and they have, of course, that Rosie's Dog Beach that Lucy loves to play at. Oh, my gosh. I can't wait to get home and hug her. But, uh, yeah, just another quaint little beach town. Now, if you're military and you have an RV, you can also uh, camp at Sea Breeze, and that's in Seal Beach. That's on a military base, so you have to have all your uh, info there. It is not cheap. It is definitely, it used to be cheap, then all of a sudden everybody goes Hollywood on you, you know? Yeah, 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 everybody run down to uh, the green light. All right, that's what we're going to do. But, uh... Okay, so Seal Beach, what I did, the reason why uh, on my way from uh, Breadlands, I decided to stop into Seal Beach. It was the first stop. One of my viewers told me about their Dollar Tree and what they're doing with their prices. So I captured full video on what's happening at the Dollar Tree. Because this is not happening to my Dollar Tree right now. But it looks like they're com becoming a five below. And I don't like that idea. It's like... It used to be one lane of just, over, uh, not overpriced stuff. Well, it is a bunch of stuff, but uh, you know, $5 stuff. But now it's quite a few little aisles of three to $5 stuff. So that seems to be what's happening. I used to shop all the time over there at my Aaron Brothers. Aaron Brothers is gone. Oh, the restaurant I used to eat at is gone. A lot of places didn't make it. Right over here, where are we at? We are, and we're in, at the cusp of Long Beach. Over at the Whole Foods Market on the other side, there's a beautiful bay and boats and everything. But on Saturday or Sunday, if you wanted to sell your crafts, you could. They have a nice little fair going on. Uh, but we are here on Tuesday. Oh, they're fumigating the in and out Burger. Oh, my gosh. Well, wow. I won't eat there for at least another month, you know. It's just me. Uh, I had a date over Jade on the water. Oh, who was that? That was uh, Rick, my good buddy. Uh, he won two Purple Hearts for Vietnam. He took me on a date there. That was so nice of Rick. But uh, it was not a love match, unfortunately. He has a wonderful little dog, Penny, and I'm still looking for him. Uh, yeah, I, I care about all of my friends. I really do. A lot of them do have uh, problems. They, you know, how do you get two Purple Hearts in Vietnam? Well, uh, your platoon gets blowed up and you rescue a bunch of people. That's how you do. And uh, what Rick lived through was amazing. I, I wish I could find him, but I can't. He seems to be uh, disappeared off the internet. Mm, what can I say? What can I say? But we are on our way to Long Beach now. Mm, well, we are in Long Beach, but uh, yeah, this used to be my route. Uh, got some business to do here, but we might start at the... Uh, uh, wow, I see Taylor Swift. Is Taylor Swift coming to Long Beach? I don't know. Am I a Swifty? I don't listen to enough music. What did I listen to when I came in here? Oh my gosh, my uh, Roy Orbison channel. Mm, love it. Stuff from uh, the 50s. A lot of stuff from the 50s. Uh, really good. I listen to it on Pandora. I just uh, Google in uh, Roy Orbison. And uh, yeah, really, really good music. All right, people, let's go. There's the Greek church. Once a year, they had that big Greek festival. Mmm, really good food. Gas lamp. Gas lamp is country line dancing Thursday. Woo! -hoo! So I guess they're just telling uh, different types of music. Oh, they're tribute bands. All right, got it. All right, so I'm going to uh, turn it off soon. Bixby Villas. That's where Rick used to live over there on Bixby Villa. But uh, he is not there anymore, unfortunately. Mm, can't find him. Worry about him. Anyhow, I'm going to turn it off right now because I need to figure out my directions. Of course I'm lost. So that's 
all I do to stealth camp. That's where I stealth camp. I hope I answered some questions. That's my whole bed. A uh, uh, couple of yoga mats and my, uh, uh, what's that called? Sleeping bag and a pillow. Uh, that's all I need. And uh, I'm quite happy with that. And where am I at? I'm up towards the VA hospital. So I got to get a little south. All right. Bye, guys.